What do you think about um, the technique that uh, Obama's handlers have used as far as, you know, uh, Obama repeating the word change, change, change? What do you think about that whole technique well, used by them to... Repetition is the mother of learning. We have to understand something. Understand that. If you say, if you teach a lie over and over and over and over again, uh, surely uh, later on, after that you hear it enough, it becomes the truth to some people. Because a lot of people don't have the ability to go beyond and underneath the lie to un to undo the lie. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you know, we get a lot of our news from the media. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, how you gonna believe Fox? You understand what I'm saying? How you gonna believe CNN? Right. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's like they're using like the whole little. Uh Messiah type, but uh, the marketing, I mean, just the marketing scheme. The marketing and mind control. The marketing scheme that they used to promote uh, Barack Obama. And he is, it's, it's a genius. I mean, he's the product. Change is the slogan. Right. No substance, and the people are just, you know. And no one looks at the agenda. No, no one looks as long as he agenda. positions himself right, have the right tie on, have the right smile, um, uh, repeats the slogans over and over and drives it and drives it home. The average, the average American is just going to swallow the hook, line, and sinker. And we don't even know what the agenda is. And also, since you're in the music industry, in the hip-hop uh, industry, what do you think about a lot of the hip-hop artists like uh, Jay-Z, <laughs> he did it, 50 Cent, um, and his other girl, then Tia, whatever, all of them, you know, endorsing uh, Barack Obama. Uh, what do you think about a lot of these hip-hop heads? Is it just like the American Idol? Uh, bullshit things like it's just, it's just a fan just to endorse a Barack Obama without you know doing any homework and see what he's doing. Well, I think I think that's that's stroking the masters uh, or getting the head stroked by the master. Yeah. You know, like lap dogs. Yeah. Like you know, it's, it's it's you know you did a good day's work and the master strokes him and send him on back to the damn doghouse. Yeah. Um, I think in, in most cases, people like P Diddy and uh, Jay Z um, and a lot of these cats. I don't even think they have um, uh, any political awareness anywhere. If it doesn't benefit them financially, I'm, I'm, they're not really uh, politically astute to the point where they can be very honest and open and candid with us as as uh, as black men, you know, and black women to say, okay, tell us what you really think. The camera is not on now. You're not in the studio. You're not on stage. Tell us what you really think. And if what you really think doesn't go hand in hand with what you're telling the people that love, honor, and respect you and, and buy and support you, then what's really your agenda? You understand what I'm saying? Jay-Z already knows the handshakes. He's already taken the oath. They already let uh, P. Diddy in. Uh, you don't get to the $20 million club without getting these people's stamp of approval. Do you understand what I'm saying? But uh, Puffy had the vote or die, which is utterly stupid and ridiculous and idiotic. Um, uh, for a Negro like that to be giving us that kind of ultimatum, you either vote or you die. Um, Jay-Z openly supports Barack Obama. 50 Cent openly supports Hillary Clinton. And um, I think he changed his uh, position. Uh, it's something now since she's out there, he's now supporting uh, uh, Okay, Biden. but that would be a smart move to do that. Yeah. Because now you have to be uh, appear to be politically astute. Because you don't want to lose that particular clout. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And they have to be. So they can be called on by their handlers, right. by their white handlers. Right. So you have to appear at least. See, Puppy tried to appear neutral. Mm -hmm. Voter die, galvanizing all the young energy, that demographic between the 18 and 35 demographic. Get them out to vote. Get them registered. Come to find out that all those names that uh, when you register at the post office for, um, for, uh, or register to vote, all of those names go into a database for the selective service draft. And this, they're not telling us. So no one is saying, okay, well, this is the electoral process, and this is how it works. To educate us about voting, they just said, no, come register. And at that time, they want us to vote for Bush or Kerry, and both of them are cousins, and both of them belong to Skull and Bones. Yeah, I mean, it just really uh, hurt me just to see even some uh, conscious rappers, you know, some consider like most definitely in common are also uh, uh, supporting uh, Barack Obama. Uh, are there any other uh, conscious hip hop artists out there besides yourself and uh, Emerald from Dead Friends that are uh, supporting uh, Cynthia McKinney? Well, um, I reached out to um, to NY Oil, who came to do a fundraiser. Um, uh, Uno uh, from Boston. Um, what's the name? Is coming to town. Um, Immortal Technique is coming to town. Um, I tried to reach out to uh, Gene Gray and a couple of other rap artists that are out there that are on the front lines 
and that are not afraid to speak. Um, uh, I called Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine um, just to get his take on it and have that brief conversation with him. Stickman from Dead Press and some other people. But um, this is new. She just um, they just hit the press that um, Rosa Clemente is going to be the uh, vice president. Uh, on the Green Party ticket under Cynthia McKinney running for president on the Green Party ticket. So I'm waiting to hear back from a couple of these people. I've yet to see Chuck D. I'm going to see him this Friday in Chicago. Um, I even want to ask Flavor. You know, a lot of people uh, got the Flavor uh, flavor uh, ism going on. Yeah. Uh, they want to be a Flavor Tron. Yeah. So I want to see um, them under the Flavor Flav hypnotic um, uh, madness. So I want to hear what they have to say. Um, I want to I want to see what Flavor has to say because this is not new. We went through the same thing with Jesse Jackson. Mm -hmm. Everybody's picking and choosing sides. Right. You understand what I'm saying? But um, the agenda is not being laid out this time, and I want to see what people have to say. Are we going to follow someone blindly because they look like us, or are we going to dig into the agenda and see what uh, we're actually going to be getting at the end of the day? Yeah, we're at the end of the day. Uh, I'm sick of McKinney proven. Without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, there's no doubt. When you compare Cynthia McKinney to Barack Obama, you, mean, you can't even compare them. I mean, Cynthia McKinney was out front uh, fighting Bush on uh, what they knew about 9-11. Right, uh, right. Too far, uh, with the uh, depleted uranium. Right. I mean, there's so many issues down the, down the list that, you know, Cynthia McKinney has proven to be worthy of support. Not this way. Right. It's just sickening just to see so many people would fall for Barack Obama, especially a lot of black people uh, supporting Barack Obama, where you have somebody like Cynthia McKinney has been proven to be worthy of your support. Right, but you know something, I think a lot of the people that are voting for Barack Obama want to see change. Yeah. They just don't want to dive into the issues. Right. Cynthia McKinney is dealing with the issues. Now, a lot of times, we don't want to know the issue. Right. We don't want to know the issue. We feel what do you call this thing where you get this false sense of gratification but because a black man is in office everything's gonna be alright no everything's not gonna be alright yeah. until you look into the agenda and what the Democratic Party has been about is about and will be about regardless if Barack Obama is the president or not and that's real because we got deceived under Bill Clinton right. you know we thought he was the first black president and everything was cool because he played this uh, saxophone, smoked some weed, and got some head in the White House. And we can't be deceived like that anymore. Right. And then he moved to Harlem, and we thought it was a rap. We thought it was a ball game. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's not cool. We can't be deceived and fooled and tricked uh, this time. So in uh, closing, uh, could you just uh, give like uh, a final sentence as far as, you know, why should uh, people listen to this? Should they, why they should support and donate money to the Cynthia McKinney campaign? Uh, I think I think simply because in a nutshell, if you want uh, a candidate, if you want a president that's going to put the issues on the table, that's going to resolve the old issues, that's going to bring up the issues and, 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 and really deal with um, what we're really being faced with, uh, not only in America but on the global scene, I think we really need to put our energy and our resources and our money behind Cynthia McKinney. Uh, president of the United States on the Green Party ticket and Rosa Clemente as Vice President. Yeah. And this is coming from Professor Griff on the Minister of Information of Public Enemy. Still a public enemy and probably an enemy with inside a public enemy. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But nonetheless, I think that's what we need to do. Um, if you believe in the voting process at all. Right. Well, I really appreciate you for uh, giving me oh, this. Give thanks, man. Just coming through the store, picking up some materials so I could become, you know, a stoop. That's what I'm dealing with as far as politics. And politics is the science of governing people, and we need to understand that. Well, hopefully more people such as yourself, uh, you know, the I think we saw Roseanne Barr, uh, Austin said that she's talking about support right. So hopefully more uh, people like her, maybe uh, Danny Glover, Eric Belafonte, and others, they need to get out and publicly need to endorse Cynthia McKinney because uh, this uh, Barack Obama uh, hysteria, this scam, uh, needs oh, yeah. to be put down. So I appreciate you for Oh, give thanks, man. Cynthia McKinney, do your thing, man. I'm here. I appreciate it, man. All right, peace. Yeah.